Good morning. It's Shirley again. I'm sorry I missed out on this last weekend. I was uh, very busy and I just wasn't feeling well. So I took a, took a Sunday off and here it is Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, what I want to talk about today is alcohol use disorder. Um, you may wonder what that has to do with dissociative identity disorder. Well, it has quite a bit. Um, a lot of people who have DID also have a use disorder of some type. Um, I had a prescription uh, drug disorder, and but today I want to talk about alcohol. And alcohol. Another name for alcohol use disorder is alcoholism, and um, it has a stigma to it that it should not have. People who have alcoholism are not bad people. They're suffering from a bad disease, and uh, the stigma that surrounds it is just horrendous. Um, if we want to cure and, and, and help people get away from alcoholism, we're going to have to stop the stigma and stop the, the um, silliness, you know, um, putting people down because they can't control their alcohol, or alcoholism. Um, alcoholism affects children, as, a, as many of you well know who have DID. Um, children grow up not feeling secure, not feeling um, that they know what's going to happen next. Fearful of what's going to happen next. Waiting for the next shoot, other shoot to fall. You know what I'm saying? Um, I grew up in an alcoholic home and I understand very well. Um, you tend not to trust people. You tend to... Um, uh, well, you can't become an alcoholic yourself. It's her It can't be hereditary. There's a genetic component. Um, so... I just wanted to talk a little bit about alcoholism and say that, say this, that if you are have an alcohol problem, please don't feel bad about yourself. It's hard to get away from an addiction. And addictions are just brain disorders. It's because you have too much, you have this problem in your brain with serotonin uptake. And it, it, once you get a rush of adrenaline or, or serotonin, more like serotonin, um, the good, feel me, feel good, um, Brain, uh, 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 I, I can't think of the term. Oh, um, brain chemicals, <laughs> neurotransmitters. There it is, neurotransmitters. Neuro serotonin is a, is a feel, feel me good neurotransmitter that your brain will put out when it feels a rush of, of uh, happiness. And so when you first take it, when you first take a few drinks, um, you feel relaxed, you feel comfortable, you feel happy. So your brain likes that, and so it'll crave more and more. Um, if you have this, if you have the propensity for alcoholism, um, it starts. It can start for some people from the very first drink. Uh, it doesn't just add up slowly. But with my mother, it started with going out on Tuesdays with a friend of hers. And she'd have a drink. Well, then she felt so good and so relaxed, she'd go back on Thursday and have some more to drink. Eventually, she was going every day to the, to, the, to the bar. And she had more friends at the bar than she had anywhere else in the world. In fact, she thought, that, thought of his family more than she had thought of her own family. But I just wanted to say, I'm not angry at my mother for her alcoholism. I understand. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not giving her an excuse. That's not, that's, that's not what, I'm, what I'm doing here. I'm giving an explanation. I've explained to myself what happened. It doesn't excuse her behavior uh, towards her children. However, it does give me an explanation. And somehow that helps. So I hope this has been a helpful video today. I hope you'll like and follow. And uh, send me a... Um, Send me a, 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 a <laughs> God, you can tell it's early morning. I can't even talk. <laughs> uh, this, let me know if you need anything. And please, if you can, I would really appreciate it if you give me some topics to speak on. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I know DID is a complicated disorder and I should be, oh, really able to speak on anything about it. But how, I am running out of ideas. So if you would give me some ideas, I'd appreciate it. So you have a great week, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.